guys, it's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be getting my fridge nice and organized. I'm so excited to be partnering with Cricut for today's video. This project would have not been possible without my Cricut Joy. I wanted to share with you guys, you can now get the Cricut Joy at the Container Store, which is so exciting. If you guys have never heard of the Cricut before, it is a smart cutting machine that allows you to create personalized projects with hundreds of materials. So we're gonna be diving into that shortly before we get started I wanted to share with you guys the before of my fridge it was not too bad but it was bad enough for us to need to transform it we were having the issue of a lot of things going bad because it was hard to find things because things were just kind of stuffed in there so we're gonna be tackling this today together I'm gonna be using all of my new bins from the container store they have so many beautiful organization bins at the container store you guys you can really customize it. These are the ones I picked out for my fridge space, but they have larger containers, smaller containers, literally containers for every kind of thing. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know my obsession with acrylic organizers and they're your store for acrylic organizers. get our beautiful new containers from the container store washed and dried. I wanted to start by doing this before pulling everything out of the fridge because I didn't want my fresh food sitting on the counter for too long. And this was kind of a long process to hand wash everything and dry it. So definitely recommend doing that first. have our containers washed and dried. I'm going to start by pulling everything out of the fridge. I find it just so much easier that way. I found some things in the fridge that was expired that needed to be thrown out. You can really see everything. You can clean up any spills that you have. So we're going to pull every single item, even the condiments out of the fridge, get it on the counter so we can see our space that we're working in. Another tip I recommend doing is going grocery shopping before you start on your fridge organization. I know that kind of seems backwards, but you really want to know the foods that you have in your fridge. It's hard to organize something when you don't know the products you're going to have. So go to the grocery store first. So that way you'll know all of the products you have before you start organizing and everything will have a home that way versus trying to organize first and then go to the store. everything taken out the fridge I went ahead and used my vacuum cleaner to kind of pick up any large crumbs we had in the fridge and now we're gonna be wiping everything down with my disinfectant spray what I recommend doing is before you go to the grocery store give your fridge a good wipe down you don't have to take everything out just kind of shift things over so that way your fridge stays clean so I don't have to take the drawers out very often because I do keep up with cleaning my fridge once a week So now that we have our fridge all clean, it is time to unbox our brand new Cricut Joy. Like I told you guys, it is now sold at the container store. They have an exclusive kit that comes with so many amazing goodies to really tackle any project you have in mind. So you have your Cricut Joy, it also comes with transfer tape, it comes with vinyl, it comes with all of the tools you need, which is amazing. So the container store is now like your one-stop shop. You can pick up your acrylic organizers, leave with your Cricut Joy kit, and you are ready to go. I 
love the Cricut Joy for its compact design. It is so easy to move anywhere you really need it, and you can create so many different personalized projects. The Cricut Joy uses a software called the Design Space, which comes free with your machine. I'm gonna be taking you guys through the entire process of how I create the labels for this project. Here's an overview of all the goodies you get in your Cricut Joy kit that's exclusively sold at the Container Store. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the labels for the fridge. So now I wanted to take you guys through the Design Space, which is the free software that comes with your Cricut. It is so fun browsing the Design Space. One of my favorite things about the Cricut Design Space is they have so many projects that are already done for you. You can literally click a project customize it, send it to your Cricut Joy, and it will cut the labels for you. So for the labels we're gonna be making today, I went ahead and created a new project and I'm hitting that text button and then I'm gonna type in all the labels I want the Cricut to cut out for me. So I wanted one for fruit, I wanted one for veggies and eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and type it all out. They have so many beautiful fonts you can choose from. Once you get all the labels typed out, you can customize the size, which is so fun. So I measured my containers to see kind of how I wanted my labels to fit on my containers. So I ended up going with four and a half by one and a half for all of my labels for this project. So now that we have all of our labels customized, we are ready to send it to our Cricut. So you do not need a mat with the Cricut Joy, which is amazing. So I went ahead and selected without a mat. The design space literally walks you through the entire project. I hit the green container button. It's going to ask you what materials you're going to be using. It will tell you exactly what materials you need to get started on this project. And what I love about the Cricut Joy is it will load all the vinyl through so you know you have enough for your project. So you're never going to have to wonder if you have enough or not. It will pull it all the way through before it starts cutting. It only takes the Cricut Joy a couple of minutes to cut through the vinyl and make your customized labels, which is so amazing. Once it's fully done, you'll go ahead and unload the vinyl from the machine and you want to lift up all of the vinyl. You wanna make sure you be very careful because you don't wanna pull up any of the letters. And now I'm just going with my weeding tool and getting any of that vinyl that's stuck in between like the O and the E and removing that with my weeding tool. So what I find easiest for me is to kind of cut my vinyl and work with one label at a time. Now I'm gonna be using transfer tape for this project because I'm gonna be transferring it to the beautiful acrylic organizers we got from the container store. So what I like to do for the transfer tape is to cut it to fit the label. Now the transfer tape, you can get multiple uses out of it, so don't throw it out once you transfer your vinyl to the container. I've used mine quite a bit of times before throwing it out. So stick your transfer tape to your vinyl and you're really going to want to press it in. I use my scraper tool to really make sure that it is stuck to the transfer tape. Now that we have the first label done, I'm doing the same thing with my next label. I'm cutting the transfer tape to fit the label. I'm peeling the adhesive on the back, sticking it on my label and using my scraper to really press it into the letters before lifting the transfer tape up. Now that we have all of our labels stuck on the transfer tape, you want to slowly pull up that transfer tape. If you notice that the letters are not sticking to the transfer tape, use your weeding tool or your scraper to help you. You wanna be really slow with this process. Now that the vinyl is stuck to the transfer tape, you're gonna go ahead and stick that on the surface and you want to press that in with your hands, use your scraper tool, and you're gonna slowly pull away the transfer tape and your beautiful new label is going to be revealed. Do you guys see how beautiful it looks on my acrylic container and how easy it was to use my Cricut Joy to create these customized labels? I am not a crafty person at all, you guys. So the fact that I'm able to do this anybody can do it. It is so easy. The Cricut Design Space, like I told you guys, can walk you through any project. I'm so excited to use my Cricut Joy and be able to do so many different projects throughout my home. The Cricut Joy cuts, writes, and draws for you, so you can literally do so many different projects from organizing your entire home to putting your personal touch on almost anything.
So now that we have all of our acrylic organizers nice and labeled, it is time to wash our produce. So I don't like to wash all of the produce. I just like to wash a few options that I like to grab and go. So usually that's most of the fruit. So I love to wash the strawberries, the grapes. I don't pre-wash like lemons and apples because those are things that are really easy to kind of wash and go. But things that kind of take a little bit of time, I like to pre-wash those. The sour taste will wash away Cause I promise you, promise I'm better now so I seriously loved all the containers I picked up from the container store. They all were amazing quality. And I love these drawers that it came with little dividers to separate. So I did one side with strawberries and the other side with blueberries. And I didn't have to worry about them mixing together. I'm using the divider in this container as well to separate my purple grapes from my green grapes. And I like to line the drawers with paper towels so that way it'll absorb any of that moisture so my fruit can last as long as possible. How it feels, babe. So I used to store my onions in my pantry and I still do, but I also like to keep some in the fridge. I was finding they were going bad super fast in the pantry. So I like to store half mine in the fridge, half mine in the pantry. Now that we have everything added into our acrylic organizers, it's time to get it added back in the fridge. And you can just kind of move things around to fit the compartments. I did pre-measure, so I kind of knew exactly the design of how I wanted everything laid out. Are you feeling it too? So for containers that I wasn't really sure of what I wanted to go in them, I didn't label them quite yet, but we will add the labels a little bit later. I had originally got this container to store all of my yogurts and like hummus cups, like grab and go snacks, but then I found it was amazing for vegetables. So they're containers you could really get creative of how you store them. And then I end up using another container to store like my snacks. Wouldn't hold it against you if you say that you don't want to get close to me, close to what we used to be, yeah. But I just feel like dancing Are you feeling the groove? One thing that I recommend keeping in your fridge when you're organizing it is keeping a zone for leftovers and overflow products because sometimes you may wanna buy some fun things at the grocery store and you wanna be able to have space to be able to store it. So I kept some space in the middle of my fridge for taller items like almond milk and juices and then I kept an entire compartment dedicated to leftovers. And if I ever need more space, I can definitely take the bread out of the fridge. I just put the bread in the fridge this time because it does last a lot longer, but if I needed the extra space for meal prep, I can always move it out and put it in the pantry. Before I share with you guys the after shots, let's take a walk down memory lane. This is how my fridge looked. This project would not have been possible without my Cricut Joy and containers from the container store. I was able to completely transform my fridge. Here is the after you guys. I can see every single thing. Nothing's gonna go bad in the back of the fridge. All of my containers are labeled, organized and efficient. Everything fits nice and neat and my fridge and I know exactly where everything is. guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this refrigerator transformation give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it huge thank you again to cricut for sponsoring today's video remember you can now pick up your cricut joy at the container store so it's going to be your one-stop shop get your cricut joy get your beautiful acrylic containers and go ahead and transform any space in your home i'll see you guys in my next one bye